going to show you how to use Doctopus and Grubrick to grade your Google Classroom assignments submitted with a Google Doc. We start by clicking New and Google Sheet. From Google Sheets, we're using an add-on called Doctopus. So I just click Add-ons and Doctopus is right here. If you don't have Doctopus, just go to Get Add-ons. In the search box, type Doctopus. And then you'll add it right here. I already have it, so I'm just clicking add-ons, Doctopus, and I'm launching. You might have to do a setup the very first time you do it. Once my Doctopus has launched, I go to select a roster, and I'm ingesting this from Google Classroom. So I just click ingest Google Classroom assignment, then I pick which Google Classroom I'm using, and then the assignment. It can be an essay, it could be anything. This assignment was actually named Google Classroom because it was from a PD session I did. Must be a Google Doc though. Then we simply click Ingest Assignment. And this takes a moment to work. Okay, this opens up my list of assignments. I'm now going to attach my Gubric. A Gubric is a rubric that you have written using um, Google Sheets. So I took the third grade writing one and threw it in a Google Sheet and I'm attaching it from here. This attaches it to every student's doc. Okay, now once this is done, you can click on any student's link to see their doc. So I'm gonna click on a sample one and click docs. All you have to do from here is click the I. The I is an extension. If you do not already have the extension, please click a new tab, go to your apps, you're gonna to go to the web store, type in Gubric, and it's just a simple extension. You click here, you add it, you're going to have to give it permissions to run, give it permissions to use your microphone, and so on. Once it's here though, and you have it, you just click the I up here, it'll be over here all the time. and it attaches the rubric right to your thing. Then for every single um, area, you'll click a score, whether it's overall score, you click lead, give a rubric score, transitions, ending, organization, elaboration, craft, you can put mid-levels on this rubric, and spelling. Finally, you'll end with a comment, Now this was just a sample one, so of course it doesn't really have real work in it. Um, you can choose if you want to email it, but most of our elementary students don't have email. And the students can change from being view only to being allowed to comment on their work and auto advance. When I click submit, it attaches the rubric right to your students. Now I also want to point out to you up here is a microphone you have the option of adding voice comments to the student's work as well. So you can click this and record an audio comment when you're making your comments. And that's how easy it is to use Gubric with Doctopus and Classroom.